a few weeks ago, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov gave an interview and he said that in a very diplomatic way that the political attitudes in Europe are really changing and that this lockstep that we have seen between Europe and the United States on political and perhaps even security issues may soon change. Do you agree with that? Yes, there is a certain change which is ongoing, uh, which you can't really fix for the moment somewhere. Because you have too many threats and uh, threats around you, and therefore, uh, even in the absence of a certain absence of American foreign, foreign policy and a certain reluctance of the Europeans, yes, there have been what I call mistakes on both sides, even on the Russian side and on the Western side. For example, one of these mistakes has been the offer of the Americans to Georgia and to Ukraine to join NATO. This has in, been, in my eyes, a real political mistake. But what's really amazing, it's amazing to me, is that all the powers, and I include their Russia, have been waiting and waiting instead of talking together about the worrying Well, points. but, you know, from my side, and I've been observer of politics for quite some time, I don't think that it was uh, due to the lack of trying on the Russian side. I mean, there have been a number of proposals coming both from Putin and Medvedev to address that ambiguity of NATO. I mean, there were several ideas that were that were put on the table, but the response was always that, uh, you know, you, you have nothing to worry about, NATO is not against you, so don't bother us with that question. No, but, but this is true. NATO has, up till now, not been against Russia. On the one hand, NATO had to accept to integrate the Baltic states, had to accept Poland and others in Central Europe, because they wanted to be protected. And I think it's normal if you look just one moment in history. I've still in mind, for example, long talks I've had with Leonard Meri, the long-standing president of Estonia, who had grown up in a Russian gulag. And you have to understand these persons, they want to be, let's say, in this other world, in this Western world, and they've wanted to be protected. You have to understand this. For me, the real point where we should have stopped it is the case of Georgia and the Ukraine. 